So uh, this is from Canada, where there were workers at two freight train networks that are now locked out this morning. Industry experts say that this labor dispute is going to hurt business all across the U.S. Our senior business and tech correspondent, Jolene Kent, joins us now. Jolene, good morning. What's going on here? Good morning, Tony. Possibly big impact on the U.S. economy. This lockout is expected to disrupt U.S. supply chains. Canada sends about 78 percent of all of its goods it's, that it exports here to the U.S. So how did we get here last night? Negotiations have been going on since last November between both major rail networks and the union representing the engineers, the conductors and the dispatchers. They've been fighting for better wages, benefits and working conditions. And and the railways, both of them say they've made these final offers to prevent the stoppage, but no agreement has been struck. So because Canada relies heavily on rail transportation to deliver goods across the border into the U.S., this shutdown threatens major parts of the U.S. economy. We're talking about agriculture, auto industries, with halts on deliveries of really important supplies. We're talking about cars and timber, grain, oil and gas. This disruption could cause a ripple effect for transport alternatives like shipping, which could lead to port congestion. And we all remember that from the pandemic. Economists say for every day of this shutdown, it will take three to five days to recover for businesses that are expecting goods to arrive by rail from Canada. Guys. Yeah, take a look around your house. That, might, that final mile might have been on a truck, but at some point it was likely on a train as well. Jolene Kent, exactly. thank you very much for that context.